Hey everybody, this is Tanya with ScrappyChicks.com and your creative partner with Kiwi Lane. Today I'm just bringing you a project share of bat bows, and these are paper bows. These are not hair bows, but they're um, you can use them as embellishments. I used one template to make these, and this was the bat a la carte template, and I'll leave a link below to where you can shop for this template. Super easy. All of these were made from using scrap paper. So you can use scraps to make these. And I'm going to pick each one of them up and get the camera to focus. So this one, I did the paper bow out of scraps. I did a bigger one. And then I did it big enough to put my bat on top. And then I made an itty bitty baby bow um, to go on top of that. And I used hot glue was the best way to hold these together. But you can use glitter glue. Um, it dries clear. Um, it's fast drying, but it takes a little more time than hot glue. And I like working with hot glue if it's not on one of my scrapbooking pages. If it's an embellishment, I like using hot glue best. So this is the first one. The next one I did stars. I just used star stickers again using the bat template and scrap paper. And I made a big bow, put the bat on top, and then a little bow. And these are foam stickers that I already had in my stash. This one is more traditional Halloween colors. Again, a big bow base, a bat, and then a small bow. This one I did a little different. Instead of putting the bat on top of the bow, I did the bat as the bottom. And I used glitter paper, which I love glitter. That Anyone who knows me well knows I love glitter and shimmer. Anything that shines and glimmers, love it. So I did this one a little different. That's what I love about the Kiwi Lane templates. You can change them up and use them in different ways. This one I did the bat on top with a big bow base, bat, and then a small bow. This one turned out really pretty with that purple glitter paper. So I did the bat on the bottom, put the bow on top. Real simple. I just let the paper be the showcase instead of blinging it up. I just let the paper be the showcase. Again, big bow, big paper bow, bat, small bow, and same thing here. And all of this was scrap papers that I had left over, and I just found coordinating colors together that I liked. If you would like to see how I made this tutorial, please message me below and let me know. I'll be glad to do one, but I just know that Facebook, I mean, excuse me, YouTube is flooded with tutorial videos. And I'm not trying to be so repetitive of what's already out there. And I'm definitely not trying to be competitive either. So um, if you if you want to know how to make the paper bows, I'll be glad to do a tutorial. It's super easy. I use no tools to make these. I don't have the fancy bow dies or anything. Um, so And I made all the bows by hand with scrap piece of paper and scissors and um, a bone folder or you could even use a pencil so they're really easy to make um, and I, I don't mind sharing that tutorial if anyone is interested on how to make the actual paper bows no fancy tools dies or anything needed to do those um, I know a lot of people run out and you know buy all the new and greatest things and that's fine um, but I'm more about trying to keep it simple so thank you for tuning in today this was just a quick project share please like my video share it with anyone you think would be inspired by it um and then I, of course i'll leave my links below to everything and i hope you have a great day thank you bye bye